welcome to Accounting Europe YouTube channel. Hello. Today we're talking about if you look up function. A lot of us find out that in our daily work, we need to search for data. And rather than use the find search button, there are better approaches to doing that which are more efficient. The first thing we need to understand is what exactly is VLOOKUP? Now, VLOOKUP is spelled V and LOOKUP and takes in four parameters. Parameters are those things you require to be able to do a tax. So, for example, if you want to send your house help to the market to buy goods, you most likely give her money and a list of items to buy. In that scenario, those are your parameters. So the first parameter in a VLOOKUP function is the unique ID. The second parameter is the search array, or let's say call the data array. The third parameter is the column where your answer is located. And the fourth one is the match type. Now, unique ID. Unique ID is basically that that will help you find the data. So, for example, let's go to the trial balance now. A unique ID here is a GL code. To a large extent, GL code is unique for all GL lines. So, we can use to search for any data along these data sets. The second bit is what? The data array. The data array is the entire data. But take note, one key thing for VLOOKUP is that you column where you are searching for the unique ID must be at the leftmost section of that data array, which is this. So data array in this scenario is all this data, all highlighted. Column. Column is where the answer is located. So for example, if we wanted to know the GL description for a particular GL code, that GL description is what column two. This is column one, column two, and column three. So if we're looking for the description of a particular GL code, so 100 is petty cash, that's column two. If we're looking for amount, to be column three. Now, exact match. Excel has a feature that can enable you find an exact or an approximate match. In this particular video, we'll be covering only exact match. Meaning that if we only look for 100 and find 100, it will only look for 149 and find 149. So it needs a figure that matches exactly whatever you've provided for it to use to search. Now, let's go back. Let's create a simple example. Now, the first thing first is that let's create a data validation list, which I'll find in my data ribbon, data validation, data list, click on list here, select list, choose my source data for the trial balance, click beginning, holding shift and control key, I press down to select all the way down, and I press OK, meaning I can now come back here and select any jail code I'm interested in, right, from the list. And the next thing is to write the VLOOKUP function. Equal to VLOOKUP, the lookup value. The lookup value in this particular scenario is for this GL code. Right? Comma. We enter the next parameter. Every argument or parameter in Excel is separated by a comma. So the next thing I need to know is my what's my table array, which I told you here. In this particular scenario, is my entire TB. So I select the first cell, holding shift and control, I press right and down. And I select everything. Most times we will require we will need to lock it, right? What I mean by lock is create an absolute reference using F4 key. Right? If you notice, it has changed. Click F4. Now what we want is the GL description of GL code 145. So if you remember, we said that is what column 2. Comma. It has, Excel has given me whether I want a true or an approximate match. What I want is an exact match, right? True, approximate match, false, and exact match. 
so i click false is an exact match i'm done with the entire array i can now close the brackets because i've entered all parameters and press enter right so you can see that the gl description of 145 is prepared express so i select i'm going to tb and find 145 prepared insurance 10.2 let's say for example we needed the value i'll copy the same formula you notice i click on the cell press f2 go to the formula bar highlight everything ctrl c enter ctrl v to paste i press f2 to edit the formula i go to the column i'm interested in which is the column index now for value is the third column i press enter Let's expand to see it clearly here. Yeah. So if I come here and select 151, my answer changes. If I come here and change to 200, my answer changes. Right. So that's basically it. Um, thank you for watching.